Okay, I know I owe you all a lot of uh, P6P questions, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go through the past three years of PSLE papers and find all the speed questions so that I can show you what they are. So the first one that we're looking at is the 2017 paper. So 2017, uh, I found a multiple choice question which has got to do with speed. So you got this, Jack and Kira, they're moving away from a starting point as you can see over there. Let me just enlarge it a bit. Okay, so they're moving away. Yeah. Okay, so they're moving away and uh, in fact, if you look at this, uh, they're actually moving towards each other. So so what we do is uh, we add the, the speed. So we take 5 plus 4 is actually equal to 9 kilometers per hour. And I want to find the time because the, this jet will be traveling here and then uh, Kira will be traveling here and eventually they'll meet at one point. Okay, and we learned that when they are traveling to each, each other, we will add their speed. So that's why um, uh, we take 5 plus 4. So 5 plus 4 equals to 9. Okay, next, uh, we want to find the time taken. Now, this is a DST plus. So DST, using the DST triangle, distance is 6, speed is 9. I want to find the time. So how do I find the time here? I take distance divided by speed. So 6 over 9. I mean, we can't use a calculator. This is actually uh, divided by 3 is 2 thirds of an hour. 2 thirds hour uh, times 60 minutes is equals to 40 minutes. So the time taken for them to meet is 40 minutes. So the answer is 1. Okay, so the answer is 1. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so here's another speed question from last year's PSLE paper. So two robots, Jupiter and Neptune, completed a race. Speed of Jupiter was 20 cm per second faster than Neptune. So when Neptune crossed the finishing line in 12... Uh, sorry, when Jupiter crossed in 12 seconds, Neptune had only completed two-thirds of the race. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is can draw a line. Okay, so the speed of Jupiter is 20... So when Jupiter crossed the finishing line in, in 12 seconds. So Jupiter finished in 12 seconds. Uh, what does that mean? Using the DST triangle, we have uh, Jupiter's speed. Uh, Jupiter is 20 cm per second faster than Neptune. That means in 12 seconds, in 12 seconds, take 20 times 12, that will give you 240 cm. In 12 seconds, he will travel 240 cm more. What this means is, when the Jupiter is here, Neptune is here, and the distance is 240 cm uh, centimeters apart. Okay, because it's 20 cm faster. So, uh, Neptune had only completed two thirds of the race. So Neptune is here, and this is two units, and this is one unit. So what was the distance? So it's pretty simple. 240 cm represents one unit, and hence I want to find three units. I take 240 times three. Okay. So well, 240 times three, it's got to be four. So the answer is four. Okay, for this particular question. So, so far these are the two uh, multiple choice questions. Next one, water leak. Okay, this is something like a rate question. Huh? So 2018 last year, let's take a look. So water leaks from a tap at a rate of 5 milliliter per second. So one second, 5 ml, one minute, there are 60 seconds. So what we do is we take 5 times. 60 that will give me 300 milliliter. So answer is 300. Okay, next one. Okay, the rate question. Oh, let's skip this. Okay, next one. So Alice Huda. Uh, this is a um, 2016. Three marks. Uh, looks like a problem sum. So Alice and Huda started jogging from the same point of a five km around a park. So they started at the same time by opposite directions. Alice jogged past Huda after 2 km. So Alice uh, is like somewhere here. So Alice jogged 2 km, Huda jogged 3 km. Okay, so Alice jogged. So both of them did not change their speeds. Alice took 40 minutes to complete one round. Now, if Alice took 40 minutes to complete one round, 
what was Huda's jogging speed in meters per minute? So because we know Alice took 40 minutes, eh? so that means Alice's uh, speed. That's why Alice's speed. So Alice's speed is 5,000 divided by 40. So what is 5,000 5, divided by 40? You can use a calculator. 125. So it's 125 meters per minute. Okay? So we want to find meters per minute. So at least speed is meters per minute. So now the tricky part is this. Uh, at least jog, uh, this is the distance. Now this is a DST ratio problem. So let's see, at least and Huda with DST ratio. So I have Alice's speed is 125. Now the distance that Alice did was 2 km and Huda is 3 km. Okay, so just by looking at this, this uh, question, do you think, this is meters per minute, do you think Huda should be, do you think Huda should be faster or slower? Okay, obviously Huda is going to be faster. Okay, so how much faster? The ratio is here. So to find the speed, we take 1, 2, 5 divided by 2 times 3. So 1, 2, 5 divided by 2 times 3. 187.5 meters per minute. Okay, and that is the answer so far. Okay, we're going to take a look at the next one. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the uh, some other questions. This is from paper 2, the next one. So when Latif started cycling from his home, Kelly was 90 meters ahead. Uh, okay, so just by looking at this question, we know that this has got to be a, uh, D I mean, a this DST minus. Why? Because it's catching up to do. So Latif cycling speed was 5 and Kelly's was 1. So what's the difference in their speed? I would take 5 minus 1 equals to 4 meters per second. What does this mean? This means for every 1 meter, um, sorry, for every 1 second, this uh, Latif would travel 4 meters more. Okay? Travel 4 meters more. So so okay i need to know how much time because kelly was 90 meters ahead okay so i need to know how much time it takes for uh her for the cycling person to catch up okay so i take 90 divided by 4. this is a paper 2 you got to use calculator so 90 divided by 4 equals to 22.5 is 22.5 so uh, at this point of time you may be wondering hey, uh, what am i calculating when i take 90 divided by 4 this is dst minus so dst just to show you why am i doing that um, 4 is actually the speed and d is the distance of 90 so when i take 90 divided by 4 i'm finding the time so 22.5 is in terms of seconds that means it took Latif 22.5 seconds to catch up. Okay, 22.5 seconds to catch up. So since Latif cycling speed was 5 meters per second, um, they want to find a distance. Now we need to use DST again. DST triangle. So Latif speed was 5, the time was 22.5. We take 5 times 22.5. That would be... Uh, why do I time? Because I want to find the distance. 22.5 times 5. 112.5 distance, uh, so it's meters. Answer is 112.5 meters. Okay, so as you can see, it is not too difficult at this point of time as long as you know the DST plus DST minus as well as DST ratio. Next question. Uh, next question is mixed together with fractions. This was last year's paper 2, question number 2. So Eric took two hours to travel three fifth of a journey. It could be the remaining remainder concept. Okay, eighty four kilometers in one hour. So um, basically, his speed is eighty four kilometers per hour. So three fifth of the journey, 
The rest of two fifth of journey represents eighty four kilometers. Okay, so two fifth of journey is eighty four. Uh, one fifth would be forty two kilometers. So he took two hours to travel three fifth. Let's find the time taken for that. Um, two hours three fifth. So I want to find three fifth. So paper 2 get to use calculator 42 times 3 126 kilometers so the 3 5th is 126 but what is the speed that he's traveling so 126 divided by 2 because he took 2 hours DST triangle again you see I have a distance of 126 I have a speed is a question mark but I have 2 so to find speed is 126 divided by 2 63 kilometers per hour okay so that is the speed for the first part uh, but the question is asking average speed for the whole journey so to find the average speed for the whole journey take the total distance divided by the total time okay i didn't see that but doesn't matter so total distance is td uh, 126 plus 84 plus 84 uh, 210 kilometers and what's the total time he took? 2 hours at first and 1 hour at the end so 210 so uh, let's do our DST again so the speed is question mark but the total time taken was 3 hours and the total distance travel is 210 km so we take 210 km divide the speed uh, divided by 3 answer is 70 kilometers per hour that's it okay i think we have one more um this is 2016 so that's a little bit uh, quite a long time ago okay one more question so gopal took 40 minutes which completed a journey at an average speed of 72 what's the distance typical dst triangle dst triangle so i want to find the distance to take speed times time speed is 72 time is 40 minutes convert to hour 40 out of 60 is equals to two third hour okay so two third hours to find the distance we take 72 times two third now this is paper one so you cannot use a calculator no calculator for you uh 72 times two third this is 72, 72, 24. Answer is uh, 48 kilometers. That's it. Okay, for speed questions. All the speed questions from the past three years of uh, PSLE. That's it. So let's just do a quick summary. Now, how was I able to do so many of the questions so quickly? Is because there are three. Uh, advanced concepts or rather four concepts that I use the first one is of course the DST triangle that is the basic that you see in this particular question now the rest uh, especially the one over here okay I used DST ratio so this DST ratio uh, then some others is uh, DST plus and DST minus so in fact I had to use the advanced concept this is DST minus. Okay, Latif question was DST minus. DST, did I use DST plus? Yeah, the Huda Alice question. No, 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 the one at the top. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay, I use DST plus for this particular question. So if you didn't know these advanced concepts for uh, uh, speed, it's going to take a long, long time. Trust me, it will take. A very long time so in case you want to know um, how or what are all these advanced concepts you can look at the, my previous video um, yep it shows them okay that's all for today so these are all the speed questions pretty okay